All right, hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be reviewing some new RGB tube lights from SGC. Now, right away, we have a lot to cover in this video. So we've got four foot tubes. Um, they come in RGB offerings or just bi-color. And then on top of that, they also make these badass little kits. This is a two foot kit uh, with four lights in there. Let's go ahead and start with the, uh, the simplest. This is gonna be the bi-color. You've got your charger, shocking. Um, you have your mount for the tube lights. We'll cover this later. And here is the tube itself. Okay, so if you aren't aware of what bi-color means, more or less, it lets you use, um, instead of just like full RGB, so any color you want, it lets you use a range from daylight, so like a white light, as you see here, all the way down to tungsten. I'll show you what that looks like. So right now I'm at 6,000 Kelvin, and I can go all the way down to 2700 Kelvin. Um, as you can see, basically really orange light or really white light, more or less. Okay, so here's a look at their menu system. You've got the on off button here. This is like your modes. So it just lets you pick between if you wanna adjust color temperature or you wanna adjust output. And then you just use the plus minus, of course, to adjust those settings. Okay, here is the Prism 120. 120 basically is like the size. So the 60 is the two foot, the 120 is the four foot, and 240 is the, I think it's eight foot. Prism, it basically means the RGB, hybrid just means the bicolor. Hopefully that made sense, but this is the Prism 120, okay? So four foot RGB. Okay, same deal in here as you might have guessed. Let's go ahead and show this off. A quick demonstration of the, the capabilities here. So let me turn off some lights. Bam, and bam, look at that. So of course it's RGB, so we can use, hold on, any, any color we want, you ready? And hopefully it's gonna work, yep, bam. We're in green land, wow, fantastic, blue land, uh, purple, orange. Oh, it's, it's just lupid, it's going for days, so you got all the colors, dude. And of course, this is an RGB WW, so not only does it let you use that, but you can now go into CCT mode, which I'll show you in a bit. Bam, now we are actually in the same mode as that hybrid 120 that you just saw. You know, I can adjust the brightness and I can adjust the color temperature. Okay, I think you can see that, yeah. Of course it's got effects. All right, so this is fire now. Um, you can adjust the, the output, of course, and you can adjust the speed. So if you wanna do it like nice and slow. That's whack, dude, I don't know. Oh, oh my God. That's cop light. That's cop light. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, anyways, you get the point, guys. It, 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 it can do a bunch of stuff. <laughs> okay, by the way, that I'm just saying, that is actually a bit of like, sort of a design flaw a little bit. Typically, the menu system is on the back side instead of on the front side, like source side. Literally every other tube light, it's on the back side. So I feel like that's a little bit of an oversight, if I'm being honest. Okay, so menu system on the prism line. This button here lets you turn off the light, but leave it kind of ready to go. So right now I'm in the top bracket. Now I can cycle through all the different modes, of course. To commit to a mode, you just press the little checkbox. Boom, now you're in that mode. You can cycle through the different settings. You've of course got your output, which is just dimming. You've got your hue, that's the color that you want, so I'm gonna cycle through. And saturation, that's the intensity of the color. Um, this is, by the way, the hue, you're literally just looking at, like a, it's just a color wheel, more or less, and you're just telling it what angle of the, of the color wheel you want, and then saturation is just the intensity, so how close it is to, to just being white in the middle. Okay, one thing I noticed, by the way, um, for some odd reason, I cannot find any setting to check the battery life. According to their menu, it's supposed to be in the info panel, but it's not there. There's, there's no battery life here for some reason. So I, I'm assuming that'll be fixed in a firmware update. Okay, so that was the four foot stuff. Now, let's check out the really cool one. This is their four light kit. As you might have guessed, they also make this kit in the four foot variety. So you can just kind of pick which, which model you want. Very nice case, by the way. It's, uh, you know, Pelican style. It's got the uh, little 
thing. So if you wanna, it's got rollers so you can wheel this thing around, which is nice, right? Got your aggressive little locks and all that jazz. And bam, check that out. Here we go, hold up. So there's the whole kit that you get. I'm using one of their lights right now as a backlight. So in this kit, you get two of the prisms, which is the RGB, and you also get two of the hybrids, which is the bicolor. So you also get a whole bunch of other stuff in here. You get the same mounts that you got uh, in the other kit. Four of those, of course. They also give you these little mini tripods. Nice little setup here, just quick release. How those work is, you know, very st straightforward. Just gonna plop it on the ground here and boom. It's got a little mount, um, as you can see, so that it just secures to this, okay. Oh man, hold up, oh my goodness. I forgot to explain a super important aspect of these. All of these models from SGC have a very unique feature in that um, the battery is removable and it's swappable. So boom, this is your battery. So in most use cases, you're probably gonna use these lights in battery powered mode. Of course you can hardwire them with the adapter they include, but most of the time you're gonna rig these things up as a backlight or they're gonna be you know, in the shot. Basically they're gonna be in situations where it's way more convenient to just rely on battery power. So what you often end up doing is when you rent these things, like, like other models, you will always have to rent like at least two of each that you want because you need to have another one ready to go so that when your main one dies, you can instantly swap it out. You know what I'm saying? With these, it's actually way more affordable because you could just buy one light and two batteries. And as long as you just keep these batteries charged, you're good to go. <laughs> now there's one flaw to my theory there uh, in that, uh, I don't know, I, I must be missing something, but I can't find a way to just directly charge the batteries. So kind of odd, like I'm very confused by that honestly. These chargers only work when the battery is plugged into the light. Wow, dude, I am super confused. I can't see for sale any means to just charge the batteries on their own. Well, okay, if SGC knows what they're doing, they will release a charger for just the batteries because that's like the whole point. So that you could just buy one, buy two batteries, boom, you're in. All right, anyways, back to the four light kit. They give you this nice little pouch. This is for, in theory, spare batteries that you might buy. They also include a whole bunch of these little mini light stands. Nothing uh, too crazy to write home about. Very simple, right? We we've all dealt with these before. Would they hold up these tube lights? Yeah, absolutely, no problem. To, to me though, in my opinion, um, if you're buying this four light kit, you're probably gonna be using beefier light stands than this, or you're gonna be rigging them and stuff like that. So, but hey, um, if you're buying these and you don't have any other gear, these are a nice add. Beyond that, they just give you um, a whole pack of chargers. And this is another thing that would be nice. It'd be really cool if they like mounted in these chargers into the case somehow. Cause for example, if you buy a, like an eight pack of Titan tubes, that's obviously way more expensive and like kind of forget about it, but it'd be nice. You know, I'll, I'll show a clip here of like what it looked like to charge all of these at once. It was very messy, but if they kind of built in the chargers into the case, then it would be super slick. You have them mounted up here, boom, charge, boom, charge, boom, charge. Very nice. Uh, here, let's check out these little two foot ones. It's the same idea with these guys. So you've got your H series, hybrid series, same modes, same settings. It's just gonna be more or less half the output. What I can show you though, is some of the more in-depth features now, cause we've shown everything. This is getting more nerdy now, but bear with me. One nice thing about the RGB mode, the, uh, the prism model, is that it has plus minus green, which I'll show you here. Yeah, bam, so as you can see on the bottom, we've got plus minus green. The reason that is valuable is LEDs, no matter which one you get really, um, over time, at least from my understanding, okay, please correct me if I'm wrong, but over time, they're gonna have some sort of magenta or green shift, okay? And it might be subtle, but one way or another, you probably need to adapt for it if you, if you care about it. The nice thing about RGB lights like this one is it lets you correct that. And even from the factory, right? Like I, I have a color meter and I'll show you that later. Um, some of these have a little tiny green shift or like a little magenta shift. 
but with the RGB models, you can quickly dial that in so you've got a very clean color. So that's a really nice incentive to get the RGB model, basically. Battery life, by the way, on the two foot tubes is gonna be about two and a half hours. Um, on the four foot tube, it is about hour and a half. That's at max brightness. So you can, as you can imagine, once you lower that brightness, the battery life gets like way longer. All right, another fantastic feature on all of these lights is they are compatible with Sidus Link. If you aren't familiar with that, Sidus Link is Aperture's app that lets you control these lights and many others via your phone. As you can see here, I just added the, uh, the P60 here. So here, of course, I can do on off. Yes, um, I can adjust the, the output. Super freaking cool. Um, I can adjust the color temperature all from my phone and the distance on this is pretty good. We could also switch over to HSI mode and adjust our, uh, that's the color wheel I was talking about. All the modes that you can get on the light itself, you're gonna get here. So you can do your effects, which I think you've seen already. In regards to color accuracy and stuff like that, I did have access to a color meter and did a whole bunch of testing. Um, if you are on the nerdy side, I will provide info in the description, which will tell you kind of all the specifics. But um, to summarize, um, these lights are excellent in, uh, in color quality. About the only thing I could say is when you're in CCT mode, so the bicolor, the 5600 daylight is super clean, fantastic quality actually. But when you go down to 3200, you will notice, um, I think it's like the, the H8, which is the skin tone one, kind of important. Um, it goes down a little bit in quality. This is sort of typical though with bicolor lights. Um, and the only time you're, you're not gonna get that is on like sky panels and asteras and stuff like that. But those are way more expensive. Beyond that, the color temperature accuracy, also excellent. So what I mean by that is if you set it to 5600 Kelvin, how close is it actually to 5600? In this case, it's usually either on the money or it's off by like a couple hundred Kelvin, which is nothing. Same goes for any kind of green or magenta shifts. Totally acceptable. In some cases, it was a little bit green, but firstly, far from visible. Like we're talking about minor shifts here. But if you cared about it, you could correct it with the RGB model, which is nice. That more or less summarizes it. Overall, excellent color quality out of these. Considering the price of these guys, they're fantastic. And actually, we should talk about that. So in regards to pricing, um, it's a little bit tricky because I don't think these have actually hit the American market, but they are for sale here in Canada at filmgearcanada.com, by the way, link in description. But anyways, um, in Canada, four foot RGB goes for about $500, which is actually fantastic. It's a really good deal, believe it or not. The bicolor four foot is like 325. I will give you a full list of prices and the whole shebang here somewhere in American. Another negative, by the way, to the screen being on the front is if you use these um, in like a music video scenario or where you're using these as like a practical light, so in the shot somewhere, this is now in your shot, you know what I mean? The nice thing about Titan tubes is they're actually like cosmetically pleasing. Like they're silver and like look, look really sharp on the sides. They look like, like a fancy light fixture, whereas this very clearly looks like a piece of film equipment, you know what I mean? So if I'm being honest, what I would conclude from these guys is that it, it feels like a first generation product. Does that mean these are bad or not worth buying? I would say absolutely not because the price is fantastic and these little minor you know, annoyances are far from enough to make these not worth buying. This actually reminds me of, of first generation Aperture stuff. So like, you know, the first Aperture 300D, fantastic light, right? But it did have a couple minor annoyances. The, the yoke was a little annoying. It had way too many cables to power that thing. And it, it, you know, it just could use some streamlining. And what do you know, the second generation fixed all of those issues and then some. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see the exact same thing here. So to conclude folks, these lights are fantastic. They're a great value, excellent color quality. By the way, if you're interested in buying these lights, definitely check out filmgearcanada.com. Um, they have these lights along with a plethora of other uh, lights and grip and camera stuff for sale. Uh, link will be in the description. If you enjoyed, don't forget to press that like button. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.